good news for Dibble fans, it is Dibble time once again. But first stats, because that's what showed up near the time I started recording. This one wasn't very long, um, I, and I missed about an hour of it, so I think I ended up with an hour or so of footage? I don't quite remember, but it wasn't too terribly long, and so this video, thankfully, isn't going to be too terribly long. Got other things to do, things to see... not this, please. Anyway, um, it's a locomotion stream, so as you can imagine, and as we've been over before, it was a lot of very slight tweaks, and by the time I got here, they were even slighter. Most of it was moving the little orb thingies, you'll see footprint circle thingy majigs on the ground, which you'll see in a little bit. And of course the lines with dots that we also get to see quite often along the top window thingy there. By the time I got to this animation it was already decently well along because it's the trot and I assume he was um, adjusting the walk in order to make it. Again, I didn't see so I don't know, but I imagine that's what it was. If not, then well, all well. Anyway, it went by quick, and progress seemed to be pretty quick in the final whatever amount of time that I saw it in. So, overall, not much to describe, not much to say. It's walking. Well, technically trotting, but, I mean, it's walking with slightly increased speed, so it's walking. So, thoughts on it? It's alright, I guess. Um, there's a later one, I'm not quite sure what purpose it serves, where it, it looks... <sighs> I don't want to say it looks like a crouch, but it looks like he's lower to the ground for some reason, and I don't know if it's supposed to be an injured or some sort, or maybe part of an ability, no idea. You'll see it in a little bit, but his head's held down and it looks a little strange. Um, without knowing what its purpose is, I can't really comment much on it, I suppose, but at the same time, you'd think that the point of it would be you can tell its purpose at a glance. That's usually the purpose of things like this in games, so you know what's going on. Like if something's charging an ability, usually it's made decently obvious, but eh, I don't know. Oh well. Um, the trot itself, it looks basically like what you'd expect a trot to look like, I suppose. There's some part of it I'm not quite sure how to describe that looks a little strange in the way he moves at the end, but it could be a work in progress and who knows. I don't know if this is complete complete or not and it could just be me being absolutely tired and not seeing it properly, but there's something I can't quite put my finger on it that it does look a little strange at the very end, but I mean, eh. It looks fine enough. It does its purpose, it's fine. It, it doesn't look absurd or anything like that, so... Eh. I think my thoughts on the stream overall would be roughly the same. It does what it's supposed to do. It doesn't look strange, but it's... I wouldn't necessarily call it fascinating or anything. I did miss about... An, I think it started at about 11.40 something my time, and I woke up at 12.40 something my time because I was up past six something my time and then couldn't get back to sleep, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I missed about an hour, however I still gained about whatever was left. Uh, again, I think it was roughly an hour's footage, I don't remember, not gonna look again. But um, from what I saw it was, it was there, I suppose. It was very minor tweaks very minor things. The only reason there was this much footage of it, actually, was because this was a different animation from the prior ones. Um, you guys who saw the Strato one will probably remember when he did the Strato's, I think it was an alt attack, and then there was something else. I think it was the Juvie locomotion, like the running and the trotting and all that. Um, he did that over the course of a few streams, and so it was literally the same animation for three streams, and by the end of it I just gave three highlights and that was about it, because there was nothing else worth showing. In this case, because this is a new animation and because there's different stuff going on, um, I gave a little bit more than that. But if he does do this one in another stream, just like this, basically, you'll probably get just some highlights of the finished, or, well, the work in progress steps, because he plays the animation 
a lot, as you've probably seen here, as well as in any of the others. And then he'll tweak it during its run, or he'll pause it, tweak, play it again, pause it, tweak, play it again. So I'll usually take the parts where he's backed off and he's watching it for a while, because one, it's easier, and two, it's cleaner, I suppose. Because otherwise there might be 50 windows in the way, you won't be able to see it very well, or he's only looking at the feet, or, 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 so yeah. And then there's of course the one at the end where he lets it play for a very, very long time and then the stream ends. Um, so of course I always include at least part of that one, unless it's... Well, no, even when it is super sped up, I've been including it, because, I mean, that's his final thing, so, yeah. Anyhow, that is that. Um, overall, again, not a lot to say on it. If there's another like this, as I said, you'll get some highlights and that's about it. But as for, like, the Discord and stuff, the ones I've been watching have been pretty quiet. Um, there's some devs I don't check on as often, if ever, because either it was all completely useless, or it was a bunch of, um, whining to the community with very little use. Uh, at least with the others, you'll usually see some points in which, oh, I can use this or that, but when there's weeks on end where there was nothing but whining, I was just like, you know what, if I want to see that and degrade my mental capacity any further than it already has been, I'm just going to go onto Twitter or something and watch people argue there. I don't need to see that here, too. I'm way too tired for that. So, we've got what we've got. Kissin' and Punch have been pretty quiet. Punch actually has barely been saying anything recently. I don't know if there's something he's been assigned to, but it's very strange that Kissin has been a lot more active in the Discord than Punch has. I don't know if he's sick, or I don't know if there's something else going on, but he hasn't been saying a whole lot, so that's why you haven't been seeing him too much. Uh, for the most part, he'll drop in for the Wednesday stuff, and then there's the dev blog coming up, which I imagine he'll also post, and that's about it. Um, Kissin has been coming in, and uh, there's been other times where she's just chatting with people, and so of course I don't include any of that because there's no point. Um, but other times she'll ask about a certain dinosaur, or just give vague comments about this or that, and it's like, well, that's, I guess, what we're go we've got, so there it is. Like, her explanation on the Trudon Venom and all that, but I don't remember the other stuff that's been recently put in regarding her. The news ones have been a little sparse lately, but it'd be that way, I suppose. We can only hope that Trudon actually gets to show up sometime soon, but because for a supposedly nearly done creature, he's taken an awful long time now. But anyway, I think we're just about done there, to be honest. I need to do some other things, and this has already taken a chunk of time. Oh, actually, before we go, um, for those who like survival games, which I imagine is why you're here, granted it's not dinosaurs, um, Sons of the Forest is pretty fun. Could recommend it. Uh, I've been playing it a little bit when I can with some friends. I don't know if I'll post any of that or not. I've been recording it, but we'll see if I get around to using any of it. But it's been fun. I would recommend it if you guys, especially if you like the first game. I've seen a lot of people talk about the forest in general chat uh, in the past. So I would imagine there's a decent amount of overlap there. Um, so yeah. If you like the first one, I would recommend the second one. It's a bit buggy, but I've enjoyed it quite a bit. There's a lot of new stuff to see and do and all that fun stuff. The map, the map is pretty darn big. The AI is um, interesting. I like the two new pets you get, too. Those are fantastic. I love those guys. But, um, yes. To end it on a positive note, definitely would recommend that game. Uh, it's only 30 bucks, too. I thought it would be friggin' 60 or something, since that's what everyone prices their stuff at these days. Or, well, it might go up to 70 now, considering, but... Hmm. Anyways, so, yes, would recommend thumbs up. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day, or whatever. Thank you.
Here comes the boy. Hello, Hello boy. boy. Okay. Um, oh my god. It's fine. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Calvin. I made a new bench. You like it? <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess. <laughs> she wants me to follow her. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I this. I can't get over the pure timing of that man. <laughs> 